subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is competent host competent host now the host cells are made competent for their transformation with the recombinant dna dna being a hydrophilic molecule cannot pass through the cell membrane as it is made up of phospholipid bilayers for the cell to take up the dna they should be made competent it is a means of vectorless gene transfer the cells can be made competent by treating them with a specific concentration of a divalent cation like calcium bacterial cells can be made competent by treating them with a specific concentration of a divalent cation like calcium usually calcium chloride is used Now the positive charge of calcium attracts the negative charge of dna and the negative groups present in the membrane due to which binding of dna occurs to the membrane or to the cell wall this is the binding of dna to the membrane this recombinant dna is then forced into the host cell by incubating them in ice followed by a brief heat shock treatment that is at 42 degrees celsius for 2 minutes and then they are transferred back to ice now this forces the recombinant dna to enter into the bacterial cell or into the host cell another method of vectorless gene transfer is micro injections very fine glass pipettes now this is a glass pipet they are used to inject the recombinant dna that is present in it into the nucleus of the animal cells third biolistics or gene guns biolistic is a short form of biological ballistics micro particles or you can say pellets made up of gold or tungsten of about 0.6 to 1 mm in size coated with recombinant dna are bombarded with high velocity into the plant cells now this is a micro projectile gene gun web micro particles of gold and tungsten coated with recombinant dna are bombarded with high velocity into the plant cells next is electroporation now electric field is applied to the cell to increase the permeability of the cell membrane now this is a cell membrane to which an electric field is applied it creates pores in the cell membrane now these pores allow dna and other chemicals to enter the cell this is used in case of bacteria and yeast that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching